What's up? Another video. This one is uh, just a real quick one. Uh, if you're a beginning photographer, you might have seen little kits when you buy a lens. You get these little auxiliary lenses on here. They call them lenses, but they just kind of screw on the end of your lens there. Uh, typically, you'll see the ones for uh, a telephoto, um, and you'll find one for a wide angle. Um, these are kind of junky. They're fun to play around with. Don't spend any money on them. If you find them cheap, that's fine. But let me show you one that is really cool if you find it. Um, auxiliary lens. These are super wide angle lenses. Actually, I've got two of them. See that? This, these are old ones, so they got the very cool construction on him. Um, but they're really fun to play around with. I was actually playing around with them today. Uh, I've got three different ones here. These are two. Sorry. These two have the exact same body, that old school tachymar kind of thing. Uh, this one is a Ranger and this one is a Kenlock. I've, I've never heard of those brands. So, uh, And then uh, all these have the same kind of output and this one's an Albinar and this one looks more similar to what you might find nowadays, not, a, not too vintage. But anyway, I, I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, you would want to use these on a uh, wide angle lens and just attach them. Uh, you have to make sure you've got the correct filter on here, uh, filter ring. Uh, one of these was 55, so I put it on my 20 to 40 millimeter limited series lens and uh, widened up to 20 millimeters. And these are the kind of shots you get. You could expect to pay for these lenses under $20. So get on eBay or wherever you'd like to find used gear, and you can pick these up really t cheap. And they, it's a lot of fun to play around with. Here's some images with uh, I think which one I'd use. I use the uh, well, they'll all be the same. I use the uh, Ranger for this one, so check them out. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.